Hey guys, it's Samara and today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I already have my foundation and my brows done because that stuff, I got sunburnt you guys. Can you see the difference? I got sunburnt so I didn't want y'all to have to see what's going on under here. So we're going to just jump right into contour, the Naked Skin palette, contour palette by Urban Decay. So. Hmm. And a lot of girls ask me how I contour and honestly, this is literally all I do. I just brush on just literally just a tad. And I'm doing this on a Morphe JH02 brush, which is from the Jaclyn Hill collection. I'm in love. It is so soft. Literally blends like butter, these products. And this brush really helps. So if y'all are looking for a new brush collection, I highly suggest it. It's real nice. So a little bit about me. I am... 26. I just finished school. I went for aesthetics, which and is uh, waxing, facials, skin, basically skincare and makeup. And oh, girls, don't forget that jawline, girls. Come on. Don't forget that jawline now, girls. Come on. It's very important. So I just kind of Take that contour and I do it on my jawline just a tad to kind of make my jawline a little bit more defined because I feel like I look like Tina from Bob's Burgers if I don't contour my freaking chin. I literally just came back, got home from Ulta. I had to go and get some new foundation because I saw someone review a foundation on YouTube and they said it was great and I tried it and it was not so I had to go get my original go to Estee Lauder double wear foundation which if you need a new foundation go try it it's really good and for my blush today I'm gonna be using the Zula by Juvia's palette this pink shade right here I honestly some eyeshadows make really good blushes so that's what I'm all about is trying and for my blush Again, so I just kind of puck up my little cheekies and just kind of blend her in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See the difference? I look alive now. Hi, we look alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to highlight today, I'm going to be using the JH08 brush from... All of my brushes today are going to be used from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration on the her like go-to brushes. I got her largest set because I love her and she always recommends good brushes. So this is like my second or third time using them and I literally, I can't. They're so, they're so soft and I know she didn't design the brush but the br Morphe brush itself is so good. Oh yes, hello. So I went to school for aesthetics, which I loved. And then now I'm just kind of taking, taking it easy this summer and this fall. And then I'm gonna be making some pretty big changes here soon. I'll fill you guys in on more of that when it gets closer. I kind of want to do like a a fall yellowy inspired look so we're gonna see how that goes so while I'm doing my eyeshadow I like to bake under my contour that I did earlier and this is just gonna help and if you're like me if you're like me freaking Tina Belcher from Bob's Burgers, you know you ain't got no jawline, you ain't got no cheekbone. 
So we gotta make it look like we do. Um, to contour my nose today, I'm gonna just use the JH30. And I'm gonna still go back into the same palette I used for the rest of my face. And when it comes to my nose, I really don't, I really, I really like to take it light on my nose. I don't like a drastic contour on my nose because I don't really like drawing attention. And I feel like heavily contoured noses draws a lot of attention to your face. And I don't want that. I just want to look a little cuter than I ought to do. Another trick for you ladies. If you wanna make your lips look fuller, just put a little bit of contour powder under your lip a little bit like this so you see this line right here just put a little contour under it see uh-huh and then that shadow effect will make your lips look fuller and then i know i do my makeup so wonky but it's whatever Up. Cupid's bow. Don't ever forget the Cupid's bow. It looks so good once you put makeup or uh, when you put lipstick on, it looks so beautiful. Now, on to the eyes. I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette today, and I'm going to be using the shade Courtney right here as my transition shade. Y'all, Jeffree Star's killing the game. This is his, also his little mirror. He is killing it. His, if you have not uh, bought any Jeffree Star products, you need to because they are gorge. And I just take that transition shade and I put it all over my lid. I just take a little bit. And his are pigmented as a motherfucker, so you really don't need a lot. I seriously, his products are so good, you know, like he's, he's created a lot of products and they keep getting better and better. They don't, they're not getting shittier. I've seen that happen with some brands. They start to get, they start to get a lot of attention and then their quality starts to go down and I'm not sure why. Because quality is key. So I, yes, like I said, I'm going to be making some changes. Some things are going to be happening and I'm very excited. But um, I want to open my own spa. That's my goal. And I want to start doing YouTube more. So I'm starting, starting to be a little bit more productive in that. See, that's just the shade Courtney. And then, now I'm going to be using the Saharian by Juvia. This is one of her other palettes that she's done. Here are the shades. The packaging on this is literally to die for. It's so beautiful. I'm going to be using the shade Jamila right here. It's a little orangey brown shade. So, right, so when you look, when you look at yourself towards like a downward angle, you can see, or your eye socket is starting. And that's where you want to put start your your crease at so I kind of just put my my mirror down at an angle like this so I can really see where I'm going and I just ever so gently just start putting that into my into my crease and I do, these are also so pigmented these things are crazy so you do not need a lot and you can find these dupes anywhere if you can't get this palette you can seriously use dupes you can use whatever color uh, brownie orange that you have or that you like this is just one of my favorites that that I found just blend and blend and blend so you should be getting something like this very very concentrated in this crease socket right here yes so then we'll take some more of that and I am using the JH 36 brush this is just a really tiny tapered really good eyeshadow brush 
But anyway, so I want to open my own spa. And I'm going to be focusing mainly on facials and waxing. Because those are my, and makeup of course. Makeup's my number one love. Forever and always. Oh yes, hello, hello. These shadows are insane, you guys. I die every time I use them. What kind of eyeshadow looks do you guys want to see? I now it can be messy and towards the inner. Uh, we're gonna be getting rid of that with concealer later, so it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. So there we go. That's looking really blunt. Can you guys see this? What I'm doing? Okay, so you should have something like this. It's very, it's it's messy right now, but that's okay because we're gonna fix it later. So with the with the outer corners, a lot of people don't. They ask me how I get it to stay so clean, and basically what I do is I just go until I meet almost the end of my eyebrow. I use my eyebrow as kind of my stopping point because any further than that, and it just I have some very delicate features, so. Anytime I try to do anything crazy and wild, like you see those crazy wild looks when they're way out to here, I can't do that. It just doesn't look good on me. So that's not going to be something I do. But if that's what you like, then girl, you keep doing it. I just can't. I personally can't do those looks. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the Zula by Juvia. See, look at the packaging. See, look how gorgeous that is. It's seriously so beautiful. We're gonna go in with this orange color right here. Some of her palettes have color names and some of them don't, and I'm totally fine with that. So this is a very Cheeto-y orange color. And I'm just layering these colors together. I'm just going a little bit lower now on the same brush. I'm just, I'm okay if they're mixing right now because I want them to be perfectly bonded together. I want you to see both colors with no harsh lines. So you just go right under the shade you already laid down and just blend those two together. This is gonna just give it a real nice pop, which we all wanna look popping, don't we, girl? Ooh, yes. Went away, yes. So I'm kind of a boring creature, to be honest, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of secluded. I kind of, I have a routine. I stick to my routine. I don't really do anything else. I don't really like the town that I'm in. It's very... I love my hometown. It's my hometown, you know? But I've grown... I've grown from her. I'm ready to travel amongst and see the world now. I've, I've done my time here and now it's, it's, it's a due time to... See how beautiful that is? Okay. That looks good. I'm going to stop touching it. Now with Did I bring Okay, good. I'm going to use the J I'm going to be using the JH43 brush. It's just a little tiny thin packing brush. And I'm going to do the shade Skoto from the Saharian palette by Juvia right here and just packing that on the outer corner of my lid. I'm just packing that just on the outer corner of my lid. Nothing crazy. About towards the middle of my eye. Bam, see how gorgeous that is? Mm-hmm. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back in with that JH36 brush and I'm gonna take some of the, some of the sh shade Jamilia here and Courtney mixed together from the Jeffree Star palette. And I'm just going to kind of blend that top out just a tad. I just want it to be a little bit, see how that goes? JH40 brush from the Jaclyn Hill collaboration. And we're gonna be dipping into this yellow color right here. It's very pigmented. And we're gonna run this right along the top of 
the darker shade towards my brow bone and we're just gonna lay it down like that and it should blend like these colors blend so well together so you barely have to put any effort into it at all i'm going to be using the jeffree star beauty killer palette and i'm going to be using the shade china white right here we're going to be putting the china white by jeffree star's beauty killer palette in the arch of your eyebrow so i'm going to be using the tarte shape tape concealer to do my cut crease i'm going to be using the jh67 brush for this and it's just a very tight bristled brush which is good for and i am just going to do to about the then i'm going to take that same tapered brush that i used to put the concealer on and i'm going to just dab into my my setting powder and I'm gonna just set this really quick before it creases. I went to Ulta today and I got some new NYX glitters, loose glitters. I've heard so many good things about these. I'm not even sure how I've gone this long without them, but I have. So today we're gonna be trying them. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be using the NYX glitter glue today for the glitter part of this. We're gonna use that tapered brush once again. This brush is gonna be through going through hell and back by the time I'm done with it. So I'm just patting that on top of my concealer that I set. Earlier. And then I'm just going in on that glitter that still has some of the glue on the brush. And we're just gonna top. Ooh, girl! She wasn't joking. That looks so gorgeous. Ooh. Crease going on. Go back to the JH36 that we used earlier for the eyeshadows. And we're gonna go in with that bright orange from the Juvia palette and Jamelia again. And we're just gonna try and blend her with the glitter. I'm gonna be taking the JH40 and I'm going to just be dipping into that China White again. And I'm gonna be putting that on the inner corner of my eye. Just a tad, just to brighten it up just a little. From the Jaclyn Hill palette, you guys, ah, oh, I'm such a dirty piece of shit. Look at, I just abused the shit out of this palette. But are these shades. Look how gorgeous these are. This is now in Ulta. I didn't know that until today. Um, congrats. That's freaking fun, Jacqueline. The JH39, it's just a very small, tiny little guy brush. And I'm gonna be going into this, going into this shade right here. It's a very glittery white. It doesn't look white because I freaking used it so much, but I'm just gonna be putting that in the inner corner. Like that, look how gorgeous that makes everything. It just changes it. Then I'm gonna go in with the JH40 and I'm going to, into the Zula palette by Juvia. And I'm gonna be taking this, this orange shade right here and then I'm gonna be mixing it with Castina, right, this Castina shade right here and this orange right here in Sokoto. Be mixing all of these together and putting that on the lower lash line. It's just gonna be very, oh yes, yes, see, it's very gorgeous. I'm using the Master Precise All Day by Maybelline. I'm in love with this. It's a very fine tipped, which I love. And how I do my liner is, again, so I just go with the corner. You just kind of go, I point towards my eyebrow. My eyebrow is my tool for everything. That's how I line up everything and I don't want a very large line because I don't want it to take away from this whole look Ooh, hi hello we have liner okay guys I'm gonna finish the other eye and put on lashes and then I'll be right back all right guys I'm back I got the lashes on the liner on 
whew, girl, it was a freaking headache. But we are done and I'm pretty happy with the look. And now all that's left is setting and then we can get on with our day. We're not going nowhere, girl. Mm -mm. All right, guys. Well, if you liked this look today, give this video a thumbs up and I will be posting again on Sunday. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. Girlfriend, you gotta get it right. Girlfriend, you gotta learn.